Uh, Shalom, uh, giving all praise unto Yahabashim, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, and honest you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. I'm the brother Ibadia, I'm coming out here to give you this truth in the name and in the spirit of Yahabashim, through the grace and mercy of Yahabashim, and through the spirit of Yahabashim, I hope that you will be edified. This is from the UN, news from the UN. And the title of this particular article is Natural Disasters Are Occurring, or Natural Disasters Occurring Three Times More Often Than 50 Years Ago. And this is a very beautiful article in that it is proof that Yahweh Shimashai, our Lord and Savior, and Yahweh being the Father's name, which whom of which whom the world calls God, and Yahweh Shai being his son's name, which the world calls Jesus, Yahweh Shai is about to make his return. And as we're going to see within a handful of scriptures that I'm going to go through, namely the book of Mark, the 13th chapter, these were things that were prophesied to be happening within the world upon the Lord's return. He was going to be earthquakes in diverse places, rumors of wars, etc., etc., etc. So this is the proof for that. And it's beautiful that we're seeing these particular things because this lets us know that okay it's letting us know so lucky i thought i had my um my light on do i have my light on no i don't have my light on okay that's fine because this is letting us know that we're in a time wherein our lord and savior yahweh shai is about to make his return so without much further ado let me read this article for you and we can make some points regarding uh, what's happening out here. So natural disasters occurring three times more than three times more often than 50 years ago. I have to note in an effort for, for balance, we do know that Esau has been given the power of the harp system wherewith they can manipulate the weather phenomenon that you have throughout the four corners of the earth. But the scripture says, if anything happens on the earth, it's through the power of Yahweh Shemeyashai. So if the Heavenly Father is giving Esau the power to control weather, just like some of the prophets was given spiritual power to control the weather, Esau's given it, been given it on a carnal level, and it's been given by the dispensation of Yahweh Shemeyashai. So when you have a situation like that, doesn't mean it's Esau, it's still the Heavenly Father, Yahabah, Shemel Shai. And this is why we say, even though Esau is trying to bring out this RFID chip mark of the beast, as he continues to try and set up his so-called New World Order, it's all in the plan of the Heavenly Father. And it's going to be revealed unto the Red Hebrew Edomite that this is the power of the Heavenly Father. When we have a situation where the illusion of control is removed from the Red Hebrew Edomite, that, that being their agenda towards the world's war three, they're thinking that they're going to be able to arise from the ashes of the world's war three and set up the NWO. All of these different factors that you see the elites trying to pull these strings that they think they're pulling, it's going to be revealed pretty soon that it's the heavenly father that's had Esau in a trick bag and deluded him into thinking that he's in, he's in, he's in control of everything. And that's why the scripture speaks about the pride of the red Hebrew reader, like how that his pride has deceived him. His pride has deceived him into thinking that he's in control of his own actions. The Bible clearly tells us that the the ways of man, the most high has planned them out. The, 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 the heart of the king is in the heavenly father's hand. It means everything that you see within the earth, bird falls out of the sky. A squirrel gets run over by a truck. It's all been orchestrated by the heavenly father. A wasp, you know, Stings you in the eye. The Heavenly Father orchestrated all of those particular things. It's the whole, it's the Heavenly Father's script. It's like how you see within a, a well-directed film, every facet of that particular well-directed film is orchestrated by the director. That is to say, when you watch a Christopher Nolan movie and you see that the Joker has done has 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 has, has blown up the hospital within the Dark Knight. Well, who did it? Who, who, whose idea was it? Who put it within the spirit of the Joker to do that? That was Christopher Nolan, the director. So the director of this particular movie, the writer of this particular movie is Yahweh. 
the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. He's the one that's written it, orchestrated it, built it up, built up the set. And now we've been given this, the script and what we, we're supposed to be saying, what we're supposed to be doing. And that's what you see throughout the four corners of the earth. So whether the Mosai creates a natural disaster or whether he uses Esau to create these natural disasters, these natural disasters are occurring three times more than 50 years ago. And this is in accordance to the scriptures as well, as we know from the scriptures that earthquakes and troubles was going to be more commonplace upon as we move towards the end of the world. So it says here, new and unprecedented forms of natural disasters are most heavily felt in agricultural industry. And, and that goes to the, the, the farming. And the UN Food Agriculture Organization uh, said on Tuesday, at no other point in history, at no other point in history, at no other point in history, have agri-food systems faced more hazards such as mega fires, extreme weather, unusually large desert desert locust swarms, emerging biological threats as during the last year of this particular thing, as you can see on screen. I'm not going to say it. They already flagged, already taken down one of my videos this week. We don't need to, we don't, we don't need to encourage them. So we know that this worldwide exercise has been a ploy to move towards the mass chipping of everyone pursuing to the book of Revelations, the 13th chapter around about the 16th verse. We see that there is a two classes of individuals that's being formulated throughout the world. And those are the ones that are on the, have taken the little, little sword and they're going to get their, um, freedom quote unquote and the ones that are going to refuse the little sword that are going to ex 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 accept the non-standard way of living that the uh, government is going to give them but ultimately that's going to be escalated to the rfid chip mark of the beast which these things that we're speaking about you better believe pretty soon you're not going to be able to speak about these particular things because esau is he's, he's taking you know the scripture speaks about a family of the word well it's, it's happening right now videos are being taken down at an unprecedented rate, unprecedented rate at, and the term that they're using is you're violating community guidelines well hold on a minute all we did is re read the scriptures and we read the articles most of the time we don't be making some huge assumptions and we don't be making some huge i mean we did it in the past but we've been the elders have spoken against that they've spoken against that they said the elders of a great Muslim said, look, you've got to be well informed, man, because we've had a handful of instances where we've just gone out there and said particular things. And we didn't, you know, you might have not, you know, researched it, you know, the 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 um the, uh, update to the 4G. That was one of the things that that we wasn't so, you know, quote unquote. On point with some some of us, I know myself, I wasn't 110 percent on that. But at the end of the day, we still did it in 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 the efforts of um pushing this word. Okay, we did it in the efforts of pushing this word. But how many videos have we done where we've been a hundred percent on the mark regarding the social and global economic uh, system? How 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 much have we been on point about the lockdowns, about the particular things that was going to happen as the law returns? We've been we've been on point about about that, and those are the videos that get taken down too. So it goes to show you that we're getting into a time where the Heavenly Father is going to remove this truth from the YouTube. He's going to have it to where the Bible basically is going to be outlawed. If you believe in the scriptures, they're going to outlaw that. Because you've got to remember that the Bible is anti-Esau. The whole entirety of the scriptures is anti-Esau, man. It's anti-Esau. So let's move on anyway. Nor have they ever been see seen at such frequencies and intensities and complexities. The agency said, remember, you got to remember, this is from the UN. This ain't no, you know, no uh, alternative media type thing. This is from the UN. So it says here, um, you got droughts, floods, storms, pests and diseases of which Australia right now is being plagued with spiders and mice and wildfires. And agriculture, agriculture and farmers who produce our food bear the brunt of the shocks more than any other of the productive uh, sector so that that goes to show you that fe the famines are coming shortages of foods and shortages of food products is coming and that's a beautiful thing because the scripture speaks about that we're going to read that in a second these disasters 
devastate agricultural livelihoods. And I don't know why they say livelihood. Like, like the farmer, when he loses a crop, he's the only one that's affected. No, everybody's affected. That's why it's called a, a global food chain. Inflicting cascading negative eco economic e consequences from household to a national level. So that's, that's the point I was just making a second ago. That could potentially endure for generations. And you better believe these these elite banking families, they're trying to orchestrate that, that famine. And they're going to say, look, unless you have this chip, you don't have access to this food. Unless you have this freedom, freedom pass, which is going to be the chip. Ultimately, we can get that first, actually. Unless you have that ultimate freedom pass, which is the RFID chip, you ain't going to be able to have access to these particular things. The book of Revelations, the 13th chapter and the 16th verse, he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads that no man might buy or sell save you have the mark and we're already seeing the two classes of people to be the ones that i could buy right now they're talking about this is what you need to get into a theater and and go into a, a particular place but what happens next year when they've got the the third wave they're saying hold on a minute it's got to be these people that we've allowed into the supermarkets and they don't have the the, the freedom pass it's going to be these individuals that's this is the reason why the the the, the, the rates have gone back up and what's going to happen as a result of that? You're going to look. You're going to say, "Look, you can't go to the shops." Then they're going to make that that. Then they can make that 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 freedom pass into a implantable uh, chip. And I wonder what Nate's going to be saying then. And that no man might buy or sell save he have the mark, or the name of his beast, or the number of his name. Now let's go into the the precepts for this particular, or rather, more the precept for this particular lesson. That's going to be within the book of Mark. The 13th chapter. Mm. Mark 13. In 8. It says for nations shall rise up against nation. Which is probably going to be the topic for my uh, sermon today. A little bit later on in about two hours. Uh, for nations shall rise up against nation. Kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. And there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrow. So that's the beginning right. Take heed to yourself. So sorry, sorry, so lucky. I'm going too fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> Thinking that we're going to read further down. Let's read that again. For they shall be, for nations shall rise up against nation, kingdom against kingdom. It shall be earthquakes in diverse places. So that will count as a, a natural disaster, just as we've just read within the UN um, article a second ago. Earthquakes in diverse places, and it shall be famines and troubles. Right? Famines. Troubles, and these are the beginnings of sorrows. So what we just read there within that UN article is a fulfillment of that. So pretty much that's the video. With that, I'm going to say, all praise unto you, Shimon, Shai, Shimon, Waka, Akwadash, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone. Honor to your brothers to be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.